Hello, people. Um, yeah, do you know, I was just going to say something, right? Because obviously it's the summer holidays. Now, we last night it made me realise I was walking from uh, He's Mid Home of Green. And uh, it was about nine-ish, half nine. And I was walking up to my to my to my mates because obviously I'm just I'm always I just stay in now, but you know you got to go out, got to get a bit of fresh air, got to get a bit you know you got to socialise still. It's good for you to go and see people and just get out of the house. Like, I'm always just stuck in your house. Do you know what I mean? And I said this before. Um, I'm a very sociable guy, so it's been this is very difficult for me to be on my own. Um, this is probably the longest I've been single as well and it does get very lonely and i mean luckily I obviously, I, I obviously i live with my parents at the moment um my mental health is through the roof etc etc as a lot of you know therapy and all this and just trying to sort myself out but anyway so my story here is well my point here is i went out last night and i was walking through hazelman to home green and i noticed that there was no one around like when we were, when I was growing up round here, there was about fifty of us here yeah, that used to go and sit down the shops, or sit up at the local park, or sit in the woods. And when you walked around, I mean, we were we were out till like two in the morning walking around, um, you know, up to no good, drinking, smoking, just being kids. Yeah, sometimes like. Well, I think we had like a couple of a couple of my mates had garages that we'd go and sit in, but we'd always go walking around, like up to the shops or the garages. We've got twenty four hour garages up in up in Hazelmere, so you know, one in the morning you got the munchies from smoking a bit of ash, and then all of a sudden you want to pop up the shop, go get yourself a can of fizzy, and you know, a packet of crisps, some chocolate or something like that. And I noticed last night there's no kids around. There's no there's no one out. Like not like when we were younger. There was loads of us. You could walk from, from where I live all the way up to Home of Green and you would just see gangs of kids everywhere, just hanging around, just like cycling about on their bikes, you know, sitting on a bench, sitting on a wall, sitting just on some steps. Just kids, just people, young ki- people just out and about, just chatting, hanging around. And I just realised, I was like, oh my God, like this area, like this generation is dead. It's literally is dead. And I blame technology. I literally, I'm telling you now, because all these kids, what they want to do is they want to stay in and play computer games. Social media is not a social thing. Yeah, really, is it? I mean, what do you do? You sit there staring at a screen, looking at memes and videos, and like that's like your life, yeah? You do everything on your phone now. I'm saying this while I'm recording this for YouTube, eh? <laughs> Ironic. Um, no, but seriously, like, if you took the kids, yeah from this generation back to my generation from when I was like 14, 15, you know, we were sleeping in tents up in Hazelmere Woods. We were telling our parents, oh, we're staying here tonight. We're staying at this person. That person would say they're staying at this person. And there'd be like three of us. We'd all go and sleep up at like Bluebells Woods in a tent and have a bonfire and smoke a bit of like hash or whatever and put, maybe drink a bottle of cider and just yeah and then i remember like waking up at six o'clock in the morning up in the up in the woods in the tent and then walking over to um what do you call it uh the the petrol stations up at the crossroads from bluebell so you had to walk across like one field and down beaumont way and then you come out where the 24-hour garages are and in there we'd go in there and there'd be a pot noodle machine yeah this is this is a long time ago they don't see no pot noodle machines about anymore um this is like when they sort of first come out sort of thing really or as i or when i remember them anyway like they, they were quite a big thing back in the 90s but yeah they pot so we'd go get a pot noodle at like like six o'clock half six in the morning that was our breakfast but we used to stay out like there used to be gangs of us 50 60 50 i remember one time here's a story right it was some holidays, and I'd invited a few of my mates up from Wickham because I went to Sir William Ramsey School. So the secondary school, there was people from like Wickham, Tot, like all the different like places. So you got Totteries, Downley, Castlefield, Micklefield. They're all like villages, yeah. So obviously, kids would get into different schools, and then like I went to Ramsey, and um, I had my mate Phil, a uh, Luke Stone. Who else was it? Daniel, Daniel, 
His name's Daniel at Leathers. There's a few others. So I've invited these guys up, yeah, to come and see me and Asia man during the summer holidays. And we went up to the Spinney Park. And as we walked in there, there was about 80 of us up there that day, let's say roughly, girls and boys. And I walked in, and all of a sudden, like, everyone's just going, Yeah, do good, how's it going, mate? And these guys that are with me were like, Whoa, there's loads of like people up here that do good knows. They're all people from the area that I grew up with, and we were just this big gang of friends, and we just used to go and sit up the park. Some would play football, some would just sit on the benches talking, some would be in the park, some would be doing this, some, you know, just acting like kids, like just doing kid stuff, yeah? And on that same day, this kid, so my guy, my guys from school thought that Hazemere was just a posh area that, you know, there was no one up here that, you know, it was just a boring area. So we were all up at the park and then there was loads of us, there was tons of us up there and the police turned up. And because obviously someone's called the police and said there's loads of them up at the park and they're really noisy and they're drinking, etc, etc. I remember it was about four o'clock in the afternoon. I think it was a Sunday. For some reason, I think it was. Anyway, so we all sat there and the police turned up and they were after this guy, Knuckles, yeah? They wanted Knuckles because Knuckles was always getting in trouble, was always hitting people. He was only like 17 at the time. I mean, I was a couple of years younger than him. Um, yeah, so I was like 15. Anyway, so everyone's ran off, as you do as kids, you know. We didn't want to get searched by the police. Some of us had a bit of ash on us or, you know, back then it was all like, we were like NWA, F the police sort of thing. <laughs> Growing up, you are when you're kids, aren't you? You're scared of the police because you, I don't know, like it's just like a thing with teenagers, isn't it? But anyway, so you've all ran off. My mates had to go back to Wickham and they were getting picked up down the park parade. So we'd gone down to the park parade and um, a load of the older kids had gone, had, had ran down to the parade themselves and the police turned up down there. And the next thing, um, the older kids were throwing bricks and stones at the police. And my mates from Wickham were stood there because it was like a riot down the park parade. My mates were stood there like, whoa. This is mental. It was like a, it was like a little riot, like uh, the teenagers of Hazelmere versus the police. And yeah, it shocked these guys because they didn't think like they just thought, oh, Hazelmere, it's not, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a posh place. Nothing bad ever happens out there. But yeah, that was a little story there. But yeah, so again, like I said. Kids don't come out no more. But I, I get it, though, because I was thinking about this last night, yeah? All these houses around here, they've all got cameras on their doors, on their doorbells. So if a kid sneaks up, we used to sneak out a lot, you know? Oh, it got to 10 o'clock. Parents, like, be, like, uh, parents would uh, be upstairs getting ready for bed, like, half 10 or something like that. And then we'd climb out the window and run up run back to your mate sort of thing and then sneak in later on like take the keys with you um but that can't be done now because there's cameras everywhere there's cameras on people's front doors and if a child tries to walk out the front door it takes a picture of them doesn't it or not sorry a teenager tries to walk out the front door it takes a picture of them or someone comes to your front door it takes a picture of you um everyone's being filmed so kids can't really get out now but also a lot of kids don't want to go out they just want to sit there playing on their bloody computer games um, again, computers, I've, I used to play them a bit when I was younger, like, you know, we had a, a Sega Master, what was it, Sega Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, the first computer I remember having was an Atari ST525, now that's going back some, that was with the old floppy disks, yeah, that's going back some years, but yeah, just, like, it's a completely different generation now, um, there's just no, like, teenagers, like, they don't go out, they're just... When we were younger, we were we were just like out all the time, you know, getting in trouble, just having fun, growing up, learning. Kids just want to stay in and just play Fortnite and whatever. Like, yeah, just crazy times. Like, literally, I couldn't believe it walking through Hazelmere last night. And I was like, there is just no one about. It's half past nine at night. Where is everyone? Like, again, I said... When I was younger, there was blimmin' people, there was, we were everywhere. 
no matter where you went, yeah, so you had the you had the Cedars pub, there was a wall there, there was always kids, uh, teenagers sat on that, then you had the steps next to the chip shop, always teenagers sat on that, then you had the middle steps, which were next to, which used to be NatWest Bank, which is now a fish and chip shop, there was, we'd, we'd be there, around the back of the shops would be sat around there, and no matter where you went, you'd always find a group of your mates. And there was loads of them. Loads, there was loads of us. Like, there was, like, every night, there was, like, you know, you had, like, sort of certain mates h- hanged out with certain people sort of thing, and then others got girlfriends and stuff, so then they'd start hanging around with this crew of people because that girl was hanging around with these people. Do you see what I mean? But you just, 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 you just don't see anyone out. It's just, like, dead. Like, the summer holidays are dead. It's just crazy. It's just a completely different time, and it's just shocked me because no one is sociable no more. Do you know, it was the best thing when I got off Facebook, because when I got off Facebook, I started actually socialising. I was, like, out all the time, um, going out to see my mates, sat there talking, not sat there on my phone staring at a screen, you know. Ray Hill said it. He went to a pub, yeah, and uh, he went to his pub, he walked in, and he said, like, he sat there, and there's a group of blokes sat around a table, and they were all have got a pint in front of them and they're all just sat there staring at the phones and it's like they weren't even talking to each other they were just looking at their phones looking at their facebook looking at their instagram whatever and ray said back in the day you went to a pub and you sat around the table with your mates with a pint each and you sat there and you spoke about your day your week what was going on in your life people don't do that now they just put it all onto facebook social media um you know Again, it's ironic, really, because that's what I do. But now, I'm not on YouTube all the time. Like, I don't sit on YouTube staring at YouTube all day. I go out and I take the dog for a walk and, you know, I'm just filming about situations in my life or just telling you stories about what's happened in my life. Because um, I've got many stories. There's some I can't tell because <laughs> um, it probably wouldn't be a good idea. I might get in a bit of trouble. But, yeah, you know... <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to say it's a completely different generation. It's sad to see. It's very sad to see. And it's like, eventually, you ain't going to see anyone walking around soon. Everyone's just going to be sat in their houses on their phones. And that's going to be their social life. Yeah, and it's just absolutely crazy. There's just, it's such a different time. Like, technology has really taken over. And it's not just taken over, I'm talking it's taken over everyone's life. Teenagers, adults children you know i mean we're all guilty of giving our kids our phones to to let them watch uh kids youtube and stuff like that you know to give yourself a bit of peace and quiet that's fine but really you just need to be getting them kids out needs this this again this needs to change because these poor these poor kids are just going to end up house bound for the rest of their lives not wanting to get jobs because they just want to play Fortnite. they want to play computer games they don't want to get jobs um, I remember when I was younger, I couldn't wait to grow up. Now I hate being old. I hate being this. You know, I wish I could go back to being young again. And so you know what? Yeah, so I'm going to say it like this. Enjoy yourself while you're young. If any of you lot are young watching this year, enjoy yourself while you're young. Go out, socialise, meet people. Don't sit at home, yeah? You're young, go have some fun, yeah? It's nothing, like, seriously, don't end up sitting at home doing nothing. Because that's what you're going to do when you get to an adult. And, yeah, it's boring. People don't meet each other anymore. You don't. People don't meet girls anymore. Like, blokes don't meet girls, girls don't meet blokes. It's all over social media. It's all dating sites. And it's really, really sad to see. Because you used to go out to the pub and meet a girl. And that's how you met your girlfriend. It's not like that no more. It's really not like that anymore. It's all to do with technology. Swiping left and right, you know, and all that, yeah. Crazy times, crazy times. Anyway, there you go. And that was a little video. Oh, quite a long video, actually. 14 minutes is quite long for me. But, people, it's a lovely day out there. So, it's a bit cloudy now, but it is blue skies. Um, So, enjoy your rest of your day. Um, Love to everyone who's been talking to me over the past few weeks. Depression is not fun, nor is anxiety, but I'm working on trying to get myself better. Anyway, peace, people. Much, much, much love, and thanks for tuning in. 
please share my stories and whatever on huge um facebook etc etc just yeah if you can that would be amazing anyway speak to you guys later much love um yeah see you soon